This is a message to all my supporters of this podcast. I'm introducing a new supporters program. You can contribute a small amount as a one-off payment to show your love for this podcast. Thank you in advance for all your contributions. Hi, my name's Mark Hayward, and this is the Absolute Business Mindset Podcast. I'm a corporate employee with an entrepreneurial mindset. And also, I am a. I hear some of my thoughts, ideas, and comments. So, wanted to talk to you about prototyping and minimal viable products. So, it's, I've taken on a new role recently, where I am working on developing a prototype and a minimal viable product. So a prototype is a very quick and dirty result of some ideas that you might have. And with a prototype, it's something done very quickly on low cost. Um, It might just take someone a week or two to be able to do, to get up to speed that is then able to be tested. So that's what I've been doing recently. A lot of the time is doing testing. And that means reaching out to people friendlies people who you work with colleagues uh, could be clients um, people that you trust of their opinion and that they'll be able to give you some additional value um, from asking them detailed questions about uh, that prototype so let's just say you have a product uh, that you sell and you want to slightly change different variables instead of taking a year to be able to develop we say let's do something quick let's do something dirty test it validate it with people and then you'll be able to um, get the uh, get some feedback very quickly on how you're doing so it's something the the sort of testing the sort of market research phase is incredibly important you've got to design the questions of a survey or some sort of question at the end you've got to design a structure where people can do the test and they can follow instructions and then you write a lot of feedback you write a lot of details of their feedback that they provide to you so there's a lot in there. There's a lot of bit of market research, a lot of bit of marketing, a lot of bit of understanding people, understanding people's desires and wants, and being able to deliver them. Um, uh, so what what has happened recently is I've collected a bunch of uh, results, um, comments, feedback, ideas, and we're now on the next phase, which is actually going to uh, do something about it. So once I've got some more feedback, I've got to ask, got to ask why. Uh, set of people to be able to get some results that I was able to share with my board, with my bosses. And once I've been able to say that 80% of people like this, 20% of people didn't like this, we can start fathoming about what actually needs to be done. So that is the, the quick pro- idea of a prototype. A minimal viable product, an MVP, is something that we're doing with another product. And basically, this is more to do with creating something. It's a little bit more than a prototype. It's, it's still quite quick and dirty. Um, but you, you have to decide what you're going to do for an MVP. It's critically important that it, you, your definitions of what you need to do is critical. You need to be able to make the definitions that everyone that's involved, whether it's a, in this example, it's technology, whether the tech people understand definitions, the experts, the, the subject matter experts, and then the business people like myself know exactly what we're def- defining. So we've spent a number of, about a week or so, defining, asking questions of friendlies about how they would act on this and what they would do with that. And it's been an incredibly interesting experience to be able to interview these people again, but asking more key questions because every day we go, we do a stand up and we meet together. And that gives me the direction of what I'm going to ask people to, um, to look at uh, for our MVP. So it is very important to, to to not get carried away with an MVP. Don't take on too much. You just need to have enough that you can then go to market. You might have a beta tester that does some, they pay to, to, to do your testing. Uh, it might be some friendlies. It might be a friendly client. It might be a situation where someone was asked for it, whatever it is. So it's 
critically important that you define, define, define when it comes to an MVP. So I've just got into the stage where I'm doing, I did tonight uh, a, um, a, a slide deck which I'm going to present to the board uh, on my MVP, the definition of my MVP. Um, if I get approval from them, then that means that I am able to present to the board, hopefully get approval, and then we can actually build it. So um, so that's it. That's uh, I can continue with this at a later stage. But uh, it's important to have those definitions in your head of what a prototype is for, for technology and also what it is for a MVP. Um, right, my name's Mark Hayward. Uh, you can catch me on Twitter, Mark Hayward 169 You also can check out my podcast, these are absolutely business mindset uh, you, there is a facebook group if you'd like to join it there are my videos on youtube um and uh yeah i just want you to get involved and give some comments and the podcast is on itunes stitcher spotify thank you very much